quick release microphone stand can be raised and lowered easily using just one hand. Before adjusting the height of the microphone, press the lever here fully, then raise or lower the microphone boom. Release the lever to lock the boom at the height you want. Press the lever fully, adjust the height, then release the lever. When the lever is pressed, it pushes a steel rod downwards. When the lever is released, a spring forces the steel rod upwards. At the bottom end of the steel rod, there is an aluminum cone. When the lever is pressed, this cone will move out of the clutch assembly. The rubber gripper of the clutch will then move inwards, relaxing its hold on the outer tube. This allows the height of the stand to be adjusted. When the lever is released, the aluminum cone will move in, forcing the rubber gripper against the outer tube, locking the position of the microphone stand. To swivel the microphone boom, press the lever fully, then change the direction of the microphone boom. It is important not to swivel or change the height of the microphone boom without pressing the lever. Forcing the microphone boom to swivel or change height without pressing the lever will erode the rubber gripper. This is an example of a gripper with all its rubber worn off by friction. This microphone stand cannot be used anymore and has to be written off. Swiveling the microphone boom in the anti-clockwise direction without fully pressing the lever will unscrew the lever from the tube. Since the lever assembly will rise when it is unscrewed, the cone will be forced into the gripper assembly. This will force the rubber gripper permanently against the outer tube. You will not be able to adjust the height by pressing the lever anymore. The microphone stand will appear to be stuck. To fix this problem, tighten the lever assembly against the inner tube in the clockwise direction. The cone will move out so the rubber gripper grips the outer tube normally. This allows the microphone boom to move when the lever is pressed. When adjusting the microphone stand, do not step on the leg. Stepping on the microphone stand will bend the leg support. With one leg shorter than the others, the microphone stand will no longer be upright. The lower tube of the microphone stand should not be resting on the ground. Loosen the knob on the base to raise the lower tube. Make sure that the plastic collar around the lower tube does not shift in the process. Tighten the knob so that the lower tube remains in place. You may want to position the boom in such a way that you can easily press the lever. To change the direction of the boom, first undo the jam nut. This is a jam nut. It is jammed against the boom to prevent the boom from rotating. Loosen the jam nut. Then position the boom. Now tighten the jam nut against the boom. When two threaded objects are forced against each other in this way, they are no longer free to move. This is the tilt knob. Releasing the tilt knob will allow the boom to change its tilt. Tighten the tilt knob to fix the boom angle. Sometimes, the boom will not under the heavy weight of the microphone. This happens no matter how you tighten the tilt knob. When this happens, disassemble the tilt knob and wash the rubber washers. This knob is for the boom position. Loosen this knob to move the boom inwards or outwards. The overall length of the boom does not change. You can change the length of the boom by extending it. This knob is for the boom extension. Loosen this knob to extend or retract the length of the boom. This jam nut is for the microphone holder. Use it to jam the microphone holder in the desired position. The microphone holder thread is M10. Please take note of this because you cannot install a microphone holder with another thread. For example, you cannot install a microphone holder with a 3 8 16 threads per inch thread. Because a 3 8 16 threads per inch microphone holder is so similar to an M10, it can initially be screwed on, but it will quickly jam. Putting on a different thread microphone holder by force will destroy the thread. By understanding how the different parts of a microphone stand works, we can enjoy many years of usage out of it.